I'm taking you to Paris. I'm taking you to no, Paris. No. Good morning, everyone. We are starting today off in Rome, but today is the day that we leave Rome. So we won't end the day here. We'll end it in Paris, France. Do you want to go to France? Yes. You want to go to France? Okay. Anyway, we are packing up our hotel room right now, getting all our backpacks situated, organizing. We have an hour and a half before the car picks us up to take us to the airport. So we're kind of in a hustle mode right now, but there is something that I wanted to tell you about with European hotels. It's this fun little gadget here. This is our hotel key and it goes in here inside the hotel room. So after you open the door, then you use this. That thing makes it so that the power goes to the room. Without a key card in there, no power will go to the room. And it's a nice way of them conserving energy. So you take your hotel key out when you leave the room and the lights turn off. You're not wasting electricity. You put it in when you go into the room and it lights up the room for you. Pretty cool little invention. However, it stumped us and the Weiss life the first time we went into one of these hotel rooms. So we, we couldn't figure out how to turn on the lights. We thought all the lights in the room were broken until we found that little slot, slipped the key in, and then it turned on the lights. I wanna show you one more thing that I found in Italy. This is rose candy and violet candy. And I am obsessed with rose and violet candies. Everybody who tries them says that they taste like old lady perfume in your mouth, which I love. <laughs> no one likes it but me, and I like it. Even the lady at the candy shop was like, you do know what these taste like, right? And I was like, yes, I want it. And she was like, I can't even eat those. <laughs> like, I definitely want exactly that then. <laughs> it's eight minutes till the car picks us up. We've got almost everything eight packed minutes. away. Eight minutes. This bag is real heavy. Try and lift it up, Parker. That's daddy's bag. I'll try it up. Is it heavy? No. No. My turn. Yeah, you want to switch? Okay. You want to switch? Okay. Want me to? Carry it? <laughs> Are you ready to go? Yeah. You want to go on an airplane? No. You want to stay here he forever? Wants to draw. You want to draw? He's an artist. Bailey's bag. Bonus Bailey's bag. Getting stuffed. Parker's bag. And let's be honest, I'll probably be carrying that one. Jacob's bag looks like it was broken into by an artiste. My bag. Jessica's bag. Carry on. Baby carrier. We haven't talked about this a whole lot, but I've been wearing this. It has all six of our passports and any cash that we have, and it's been hidden in my belt region. Nobody knows about it. It's been there. Yes, it's very hard to tell that he has a giant pack in his nethers. Do people notice? Has it been noticeable? Could people tell? Tell me in the comment section. Was this obvious in the past vlogs? I didn't I didn't know. I thought I was looking like James Bond, like super sleek. Nobody knew. James Bond and his money belt. James Bond's money belt. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's get on an airplane. All right, we made it to the airport. Yeah? Did you like security? Was that fun? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, are you going to fly? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Bailey, come you are on. I'm ready here. to fly. Oh, <laughs> Bailey, you too. The lady first. The lady yeah. first. The lady's <laughs> captain. The pilot. Oh. Whoa, the Bailey, captain. captain. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, you'd be a good pilot. You love traveling so much. Can I try? Yeah. Oh. Wow, look at all these buttons. So much to know, huh, you guys? Yeah. Where are you taking us to today, J Captain Jacob? I'm taking us to America. Where are you taking us to? France. Oh, you guys have conflicting uh, plans. I'm taking you to Paris. I'm taking us to Paris. Okay, I think they might need their seats back, boys. Thank you. Welcome, guys. Bye.
we just boarded the, we boarded the plane about an hour ago. We're not in our uh, seats. We're in the captain, one of the captain's seats, and we're about to speak on the mic. Okay. <laughs> Push this. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Captain Kwanzu. Captain Kwanzu. And we're now approaching to. And we're now approaching to. Paris. Paris. Where we're going to land. Where we're going to land. 25 minutes. In 25 minutes. Weather conditions on ground are fair. Weather conditions on our fair. Temperature is 19 degrees. Temperature is 19 degrees. First day trying to figure out the metro system is always a challenge. We'll get there, but today we're like, where am I? What's happening? We're asking for a lot of help. I think we got to where we need to be, but we'll see. First look at Paris. What do you think? All right, Duncan, what do you think of Paris? Birds? You like the birds? Yes, we are definitely in Paris. It feels like Paris. I love it. I'm so happy. And it's nice and cool. The temperature is definitely different. Bonjour. Bienvenue la Maison de Belanger. Did I mention I just barely squeaked by French in high school? Probably should have been failed. So this is our apartment for while we are in Paris. It's really cool, very rustic. You can see it kind of looks like castle walls. And look at these awesome beams up above me. And you may have already noticed these stairs with no handrails at all. So you're gonna have to keep a close eye on the baby. But look, go up these stairs. And I haven't been up here yet, but all the kids have, except for Duncan. And look at this awesome loft. Oh man. You got pictures of old Paris back there. Little bed, got yourself a fan, a place to do puzzles. Are you sleeping up here? No, I'm you... sleeping downstairs because I hit my head up here. Oh yeah, yeah, you can't stand up too quick because you'll hit your head on the beams. Yeah. These stairs lead down into the kitchen area, which is right here. In here you've got a microwave, refrigerator right here, stove, sink, and the stairs are actually cupboards. I love that. I love when places are space efficient. We got a couch right here. That's where uh, Parker is going to sleep, I think. In here, there's like an entertainment area with like a TV and stuff. Probably not gonna use that. Let's go in a little further here and we'll see where Jessica's doing a little bit of work. <laughs> I'm just posting the video. She's posting the video at the kitchen table. She's actually surrounded by the bathroom in a weird sort of way <laughs> because over here we have a shower and a sink and a washer dryer but you'll notice not so much a toilet so if we go on the other side of jessica hey sweetie to this door here here we have a toilet and another sink and a map of part of Paris. In case you need to get anywhere by canoe. This is the bedroom, and it's got two windows out into the street, which are really cool. I really like this street here. There's like a fountain off in the distance. There's all these little shops, passers-by. This is a trundle bed, apparently, but they told us not to close it, so it's a bed. Anyway, this room also has the cool beams, all exposed and neat. And then this is for you. That's your bed. You wanna go in the other room? I yeah, you do? Well, we're gonna get some dinner somewhere. So we're just trying to find a place that, that has the, the no gluten. Sans gluten. No, it's sin gluten. Sin I don't gluten? I don't know if it's sin. I... Sin? Out. Wouldn't it be sans? No. 
croissants. That's it. I was like, what's with that? I can't remember. Oh. My recollection of French has never been better than Jessica's. I know. I'm, I'm a mess. I feel like I'm I'm counting on you. I'm so embarrassed. Your French needs to be like, like on point oh, here. Sure. I oh, can't no, don't anything. do it. I've been so good in my brain and then like I got here and I'm, I'm freezing up. It's so embarrassing. She'll do fine. Apparently the place behind me, they do magic. It's like ma it's like a magic performance spot. I love Paris. I had to get them our first meal. Snails. First escargot. First escargot is out. That's a big old chunkin' chunkaroo. Spicy? It literally tastes like ravioli. <laughs> I love snails. You like it? Duncan, did you want some? You want some? Okay. <laughs> you don't know? You want some? What do you think of that? Yeah? Good? Yummy? You want more? We yeah. finally had a chance to use Duncan's seat out in the public. So look at this. Here he is. We very much needed it. Yes. We really needed it. So I'm glad we could have it nearby. Is that cool? It reminds me of the the a little a pulley system that Thomas Jefferson uh, installed into his house so that he could get food in the middle of the night. The food spilled off the tray a lot, so he had to put he put it in the pulley. He cooked it. He put it in the pulley, and then he walked up the stairs and pulled it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my food was so good. Duncan's still eating his pomfrets, frites. And I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I just love Paris. Hi. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that Jessica's favorite flavor is old lady perfume. We learned that weather commissions are no fair. I think that's what he said. And finally we learned that snails literally tastes like ravioli. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs>